Good morning, it's uh, Sunday, March 25th, and uh, we're headed back to my mom's house to see if Ethan wants to go out to eat with us or not after just getting out of church, which was nice, we had a, a fun time there. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna figure out, does Ethan wanna go out to eat? Do we need to take him home? We'll go out to eat after that, not sure where yet. Otherwise, didn't do much this morning before church, just a bit of editing, a bit of relaxing. Yeah, just figuring out what to do with the day. So Ethan did decide to join us at least last night, and we're headed into Red Robin now. And I got the princess as usual, and uh, Mike ordered onion rings, so they all yeah, I got something to eat too while I'm eating, so I'm not just eating alone to start. Eat it! Take a bite! Take a bite! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Do it! Do it! Don't kill him! Do it! Take a bite! To make your tongue hot just that little bit? Yeah. I wouldn't take a bite then. Did it taste good? No. <laughs> I don't really think it's worth it. Uh, I got the royal burger again. <laughs> so food was good. And uh, I got my mom with me. We were headed up to see what Toys R Us sales are. We didn't even have to go inside. On the outside it is up to 30% off, which means 30% or less off at this point. And I figure until they get at least a half off, I'm not really all that interested. So we're just gonna go back to her place and drop her off so she can get work done there. Gutting the place to do hardwood floors, is that basically, yeah, gutting the place to get hardwood floors. And I'm home now. And I edited a vlog that took way longer than it should have, it just technical glitches. And now I got something exciting for today. Now I received this box that I had ordered uh, through, e through eBay, technically. Uh, yeah. Um, I received it earlier in the week, but I just sort of put it off and really have time to get into it. But this is very cool. Uh, twice now I've seen the movie uh, every day. I very much enjoyed it. But it was not an incredibly popular movie. Um, there were less people that liked that movie than most movies that I really like. So I was looking up things for it, and I stumbled across an auction for... Um, there was basically running auctions on original props from the film. And I got one. Uh, I, want, I want you to look at this with me. Here, come on. Let's... Get us here. Okay, this is our our certificate of authenticity. All right, cool, cool. MGM. And this is the part that got me excited. Okay. Okay, very much. <laughs> so we have the extra stationery. And there's a point in the story where character of A writes uh, Rahanan, Rahanan, however her name is supposed to be pronounced, a letter. Um, when over the day that she was in her body. Um, <laughs> and they had, of course, a number of different versions of that, as as being a prop maker you would want to do. Uh, really just, you know, maybe you don't know what the character's handwriting is supposed to be like, or that sort of thing. This one takes up two different sheets. Um, and I, I knew I was thinking about getting this the second time I, I watched the movie, and I... I think it's this third one that takes up two sheets that was in the movie, but I couldn't... it, it was quick. So until I have the, the Blu-ray, I can't pause it and be for sure. 
Um, all the same, I have the different versions of these used for the film. And, of course, when they made the film, they bought the stationery, and so just all the stationery that comes with it as well. <laughs> Hero letter, and then the little pens that were used there. Yeah. So, for me, I have an original movie pop from a movie that I quite enjoyed. I think is very cool. Now in order to show this off, what I'm thinking I want to do is get like a, a shadow box kind of display. Now I had to open this first so I can measure things and the plan is now, it's not too super late, I want to run out and uh, and try and hopefully get that. Hopefully it won't be too hard to find something that will work well. Mm. Mm, so cool. Boys, you got a man with a dog collar on. Think we ought to show old Spike a phone. Ah, Tom Petty is the greatest. Okay. Anyways. First stop. Hopefully only stop, but at the very least. First stop on the search for a shadow box is going to be Michael's, the Arts and Crafts stall. Uh, just because I, I think I've seen them here before. They have some frame options, so I'm going to check this out. Worst case, that'll work. It's a little smaller than I'd like, but, uh, and I'd prefer black, but it'll work. So I know I can at least get something here. I'll be able to sort it out here. But I'm gonna keep looking. A little further along and yeah, they got all sorts of options for shadow boxes. I'm good. I'll have a choice. And we got like a whole little section of this aisle. They have so many options. I don't know what I was afraid of. All right, so at this point, I have narrowed it down to two. Uh, 11 by 14s. Uh, this one is very simple black and it has that same sort of angled look as all my shelves do. This one's a little more intricate, which looks cool and stands out a bit. A little more of a black-brown. But I like that the background is black instead of white. So I'm trying to decide between those two. I also thought about and realized there's a bit of a depth distance or a difference between the two. And so I think I'm going to go with the one with the black background just because it's also a bit deeper. So even though it doesn't match exactly all the IKEA furniture, uh, it's it's gonna work better on that front. So yeah, I think I've made my decision. And I noticed this. Now, Studio Decor is the company that I'm getting this from, but I'm not sure if it's a Belmont one or not. So I'm gonna try and figure that out because if I can get a free one, that's obviously a good thing. The ones that excludes are the other ones I was looking at. Those are also off for less than half price. Uh, so that would still also be a good deal. Um, that actually be a much better deal. Uh, but for $10 more, I get what I want and I can get a second free one. So awesome. So it was about 25 bucks. And my in my brain, I was thinking probably about 40. So uh, that's good. Uh, really, I mean, it's not that they were super cheap or anything. I was just apparently just misjudging because there were all sorts of options and, and it, you had to get it quite a bit bigger of a box before it got to that price point. Uh, so I was just thinking wrong about it, which I like when I think something's going to be more expensive than it actually is, because then when I actually have to pay for it, it's cheaper, and that's a good thing. Uh, and also with the sale, I got two of them, which I guess could be nice, um, just because, I, I don't know, basically that'll go, let me have a box to, that matches if I ever get something that... I want to put in the other one. I'm, I'm not really sure, <laughs> uh, but it could be cool. So yeah, I got a couple of shadow boxes for uh, 25 bucks. But uh, but yeah, just so excited to have the the prop, the official movie prop. Um, 
especially because, you know, going to school for filmmaking, that was one of the areas, I really liked art direction. Um, and I liked, you know, which, which includes like props. And I liked, you know, prop handling, prop making. Um, but particularly one of the things I liked quite a bit was, was a lot of the paper props where I could go online, do research, figure out how to, you know, you know, design diplomas or uh, official hospital letters or, or any of that kind of weird things um, that I could just sort of design and, you know, based on research and manufacture easily through through printing and that kind of thing. That that was that was fun for me uh, to make those those sort of things when I was in school. So this is like a prop that even leans towards that area. Um, which is which is super cool. <laughs> uh, first off, apparently I either don't have glass cleaner, or if I do, I'm not sure where I put it. So this won't be like, oh, I close this up and it's done. I'll, I'll eventually have to probably get in there to clean the glass. Now, the backing here had six little pins holding in the, um, basically the, the backing that, this thing that basically, you know, explained the size and all that. So I'm using those to make this work. Um, I want the letters sort of on each side, leaning with the bottom of them towards the front of the box, leaning back. I want the pens in front of them, and I want the certificate uh, sort of above them, hopefully with the name sticking up right at the right point. Now, I'm not going to put all the stuff in there, I decided. The extra bits here as well as the bag that you know, details it. I'm gonna store those elsewhere. Keep them safe, but not necessarily on display. So what I have is at the bottom of this, I have the two little pins sticking into the felt, so just so nothing's actually puncturing the, the thing, although, I mean, I could. And the top of it should, uh, is high enough up that it will sort of get squashed up behind that backing there. And then at the bottom, I have the pins sticking straight out, so they'll keep the bottom of the cards uh, pushed forward so that the, they'll lean properly. I'm thinking this will all work. Let's put it together and find out. <laughs> and this is sort of how I have it set in here, ready to basically flip this over and turn it up and see what gravity does. <laughs> oh, isn't that wonderful? I am uh, very pleased with how that looks. Um, technically, the pins in the back, if I had spaced them better, the the papers might be a little better. Though maybe I'll just get some more pins so that I have more things lined up back there. Um, but I can worry about that. I mean, there's little bits in here that, like, I don't know if you can actually even tell on camera. But there's little bits of dust stuck to the glass in there. Like I said, I, just, I don't have glass cleaner right now. Um, so until, so until I clean that, I don't have to worry specifically about it. But yeah, so I got my little movie prop thing all boxed up. Looking cool. I'm so happy. <laughs> that's, that definitely, that, that makes me very happy to see how that, how that all looks. I, I really, I'm very glad. Cause yeah, I mean, cause it wasn't it wasn't cheap. It was I mean it was cheap for what it is, but it's like seventy five bucks or something like that after shipping. Um, which I mean for you know movie prop from a movie that I really enjoyed. It's it seemed worth the expense. Um, and I mean there were some things on it. You know, there were some of the props that were going for much more. Um, like the actual outfit that she wore that's actually in the main poster went for like 300 and something bucks Which I'm sure compared to any you know most movies that's still very low um, Displaying that seemed a lot harder to me than <laughs> The stationery I was like ooh, I like in my mind I was like I know how I can display it and I'm not sure where where to put it I might one of my, my thoughts was um, I can put it right here. That'll work. Um, I could just sort of put it like on this section of wall below the posters. Um, 
now that I have two of those, I almost thought maybe here and then maybe get a few more and try and figure out things to put in them. I don't really know, but that is now something I'm thinking about. So I don't really know where I'm going to put it. Uh, for now, maybe up there. As long as I feel like I can put it there and have it safe. And I tried a few places before I found somewhere where I felt safe with it, and it's probably only temporary. Actually, I mean, it's the Lord of the Rings shelf, and I moved some of the stuff over here in order to make space for it, but... Uh, <laughs> so I got it sort of in the corner here, and some things got shifted around as I moved it, because they will go side to side if I'm not careful, and they did. Because uh, I, I tried a few places. Because until I make a decision and get it up on the wall, I'm just not sure, uh, you know, where to put it. I have my second shed of bucks. Just going to set this off to the side for the time being. Because I'm not sure when or what I'll be doing with that. But it was free. And it, it was free and it matches something that I have. So that if I want to make, you know, sort of a set of it or something, I can. It's got to be getting late, right? It's only 7. It's, it's kind of late, but not too bad. Alright, probably got to try and upload something and maybe eat. I'm not going to do too much more today. And to sort out food, I went quickly to the grocery store. Got actual groceries from Aldi. And then uh, stopped by Walmart real quick for the marked down for quick sale sort of uh, chicken offerings. Uh, which I love. I love that they do that. Uh, not only because I save a little bit of money, but because I can't control what chicken's going to be left over at the end of the, the day, and therefore what's going to be available, I don't always get to choose exactly what I want. It forces me to try things that I haven't tried before, like this boneless orange chicken. Hopefully I like it. Um, <laughs> But it's the kind of thing, like, I hadn't tried it before. If I were just spending money and just, like, ordering normally, I wouldn't risk it on something new. But I'm getting a deal, and, you know, I only have limited options, so I do. And uh, I've, I've certainly found a few items that way that turned out to be things I liked. So, you know, fingers crossed, this will be one of them, right? <laughs> so I had a uh, lovely dinner. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, bone, the buffalo chicken and then the boneless orange chicken I packed up for lunch the next couple of days. Now, uh, I sat down, I uploaded the video I needed to, I also edited a session video so it can export overnight, yay! So I got that going, I'm pretty much headed to bed, I got work tomorrow, um, but it was a cool day, uh, I was glad to finally open the cool movie prop that I got. Uh, I mean, I've known I've had it sort of sitting in the box the last few days, but it was really like, if something's happening today, I'm not going to bother opening it. Let's just save it. And I do that kind of twofold. One, it makes it where I make sure I have something interesting on a day where I don't to share with you. But in doing it, it also makes sure that on a day where I would otherwise, at the end of the day, maybe feel a little down, like maybe I just didn't do enough, that I have something exciting to look back on and think of, no, I had a great day. Um... Which is a smart decision, even if you're not sharing your life, and you have things like that, well, you know, you, you, you get a box, you don't have to open it right away. Maybe hold it off a day or two if you've already had a pretty good day. So, uh, it has been something I've done occasionally now with this, and in general it just helps me feel better about my day. So, but yeah, go to bed, so I'm be well rested for work tomorrow. Thank you for joining me, and join me as my journey continues.